In the last few videos I've made with uh, Wings 3D and to some extent Top Mod, I've been creating sort of Mobius strips. And uh, during my dinner break, I decided to uh, experiment with this Taurus knot. And I'll just create the default version. There you go, that's the default Taurus knot. And I was thinking, could I create a sort of Mobius strip effect with this? And what I was doing was cutting this up into sections, rotating each section a bit. You can do it using the, uh, the normal command, so I'll just show you that. Loop that section out, so press L, and then rotate. And if you do normal, then it rotates normal to that, which uh, is handy to know, because I was wondering how to get all the different angles. But the whole process was turning out rather laborious. I did consider, if I right-click here again and use the options here, you can reduce uh, the resolution of the torus knot so there's less sections and that's less laborious. But then I tried something else, which, to my surprise, worked rather nicely. So I'll show you on this default torus knot, and you can consider that you could uh, experiment with more different varieties in the options there. So uh, just select the entire shape and then select face and right click and inset somewhat. It doesn't matter how much. Then right click again and collapse. So you've got this effect. Now go to line and press space and select a line and another line and press loop. Now if you select face you can see you get this sort of jagged pattern all the way around but because we've selected two lines it means there's a band down the middle that's one step away from the unselected area which means if you press the minus key you get this strip which looks rather handy to me. Now I'll right click shell extrude normal so I can just give that strip some thickness and now that's become another object. See there in the geometry graph, if you want the geometry graph, use window and select geometry graph to switch it on. Select the entire shape now, and I'm going to smooth that a couple of times just to uh, to round it off a bit. And then I'm going to press space to deselect everything, select entire object and select the object that we use to form this shape. I'm going to right click and using face selection, right click and inset just a bit so it gives it a sort of like scaffolding appearance then right click and intrude and I'll just zoom in see I want to create those more or less square cross section so that gives me two shapes press space to deselect which I can now render up in wings uh, in either Bryce or Octane why did I say wings 3d there there's also the potential for uh, continuing this kind of process by adding additional bits on so you could bevel that if your computer will take it might take a while to get to the point where it'll bevel like so and then you could extrude shell extrude normal create another shape on top of that shape and then smooth that down so you can add additional layers of complexity but uh, as you can see it's not taking me very long to get to this point which is a nice thing about this process. I don't know whether any of it represents any kind of Mobius strip, but that was my starting point in terms of what I was thinking about getting. And uh, because it's separate objects, then it'll make applying the materials easy. And also, for this scaffolding section here, I can make sure that that's unsmoothed, so you can see the, uh, the, the catching the light right in Bryce, for example, or in Octane, where the materials setting contains the smoothing options. And for these more organic sections, I can have those smoothed. And uh, if I export this as an RBJ format, so I go File and Export Everything OBJ, it'll come into Bryce it's automatically smooth. So I'll have to unsmooth the scaffolding section in the middle if I want that to remain sharp. So I'll just call this. Uh, what is that? Taurus knot 1. OK, it'll probably take a little while to export. You just have to be patient. You can see the progress bar is on the right hand side here that's going. I'll just uh, launch Bryce up and I'll show you importing that. So Wings is reporting not responding. That's just because it's completing the export process. Uh, once it's done, and you can see it always takes a little bit longer on this last section then uh, it'll it'll be responding again and I can pick it up. The file will still be already there for me to pick up um, but it, it won't be complete so it'll generate an error while it's loading or it'll load and there'll be incomplete sections obviously because I'm trying to do things in a rush then uh, there you go it, it'll, it's easy to pick it up in error so file here import object find the object navigate to it open check that you can see you get a little progress bar to indicate it's loading. It's obviously a fairly complex object. Right, I'll just uh, scale that up 
and uh, lift it up. I'm not bother positioning it. I just want to show you the smoothing and unsmoothing element to this process. So it's come in as a group. The scaffolding section there will be smooth. So what you need to do is select that part of the knot. So I'll ungroup it and see if I can get hold of that one there. Edit it and hit the unsmooth button. Be a bit careful with complex objects if you hit the smooth button because sometimes it can uh, cause Bryce to hang for a long time. So there you go. That's a fairly quick process to create an interesting organic shape from a torus knot. I hope you found that interesting and that you'll have a go including these shapes in one of your renders.